This is a classic 25 year anniversary of Firestone Walker and they released DBA in a heritage bottle, kind of a throwback to their original design. And it just, it's giving me all the feels right now. Giving me all the feels. I had to look up the details of this beer because it's a special one. This isn't just one of those beers that, you know, modern breweries are just pumping out, throwing a bunch of hops in, throwing it in a can and getting out the door. So this one uh, is definitely special. This is the first beer that Firestone Walker ever did, ever put out. And it's a kind of nod to traditional British style pale ale. And I know that the brewing process for this beer is a pretty unique one and I won't pretend to know all of the technical details behind how they make this beer. I know that there's like a two stage fermentation where they do like some of it in wood barrels and then they move it to stainless. I don't know, it just sounds cool and I love that they uh, kind of respect tradition and you know, it's kind of what Firestone's all about. So I'm gonna crack this baby open for my first beer of the day. And man, I, I couldn't be more excited. It is Friday, it is 7 p.m., and I'm about to drink a special one. Okay, let's do this. DBA, going into a glass. Man, nice looking beer too. Really nice looking beer. You can just kind of like, you can already taste the like caramel malt sweetness just by looking at this beer. Um, you got a nice off-white head right on top. Yeah, just really delicious malt sweetness, grains, biscuity, caramel, mm, little toffee, really nice. This is just like, Beer, this reminds me of just like what beer smells like. I remember when I first started getting into craft beer, I was working at BJ's Brewhouse back when they brewed their own beer on site. I just remember going into the building and when the brewers were there brewing, this smell, this just brings me back there to like grains and mash and delicious wort sweetness. Mm, really nice. So this one is 5%. This is a British style pale ale, like I said before. And uh, yeah, just a delicious, delicious nose. Let's see how it tastes. So smooth, so damn smooth. I mean, there's no hot bitterness in this at all. It's just a wonderful showcase of malt character, really complex. You do, you know, kind of can tell where there was wood involved in the process here. If I didn't know that, would I be able to pick that out? Maybe not, but knowing that and having that kind of already in my brain, I do feel like I'm getting some complexity from, from wood in the process here, but just a really delightful, very smooth, caramelly, malty beer. I don't drink beers like this ever. It drinks so good. Like I've already like killed half of this, this uh, pour. This can't be an easy beer to make. It is not straightforward and you always have to appreciate that. What a throwback. What a delicious, delicious throwback. Beer isn't getting made like this anymore. What a great legacy that Firestone Walker has continued to carry on in 25 year anniversary. What a better way to celebrate. Cheers to Firestone Walker, the team over there continuing to put out really delicious beer.